Across now, live to Kevin Maguire, Associate Editor at The Daily Mirror. Kevin, always good to see you. There is now a grown-up in number 10. Calm ha has been restored. Uh, that is good news for the country, bad news for the Labour Party, <laughs> potentially. Yeah, it depends how much calm has really been restored, how much stability has uh, been restored. Uh, over in Westminster, where I've just come from, uh, a lot of Tories are uh, wandering around looking very, uh, very anxious because they're wondering whether they're either going to get the sack or uh, a, a job. And uh, look, he, he made a much better speech today, Rishi Sunak, than he did yesterday. But he wasn't honest because there are brutal cuts coming our way. And when he talks about difficult decisions, he means his decisions are going to be difficult for working people, people on low and middle incomes, uh, families, pensioners, businesses. So I'm, I'm, I don't buy this calm and stability. Yep, it might have moved forward from uh, the craziness, the utter madness of Liz Truss. But these are still going to be incredibly turbulent times, and people are going to get a, a, a lot of pain. He's, no, so you can, you can really, he's a, he's a better politician, and uh, there's no, no doubt about that, um, Rishi Sunak. But he's going to inflict a lot of pain on the country. Looking at the extent of the reshuffle that's now underway, clearly he's looking mm -hmm. at trying to last the two years and ignore these calls for yep. a general election. He's going to want to try and make it all the way through. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think you're right there. Uh, it can go as late as January 2025 for that general election. And they're so far behind in the polls, they're effectively being lapped by Keir Starmer and, and Labour. Uh, Keir Starmer was telling the, the Labour shadow cabinet today that there's likely to be a bit of a poll uh, bounce for Sunak. That doesn't mean he'll regain a lead. It just means he'll get a, a bit within touching distance of, of, of Labour. But he needs, he needs a lot of time, the, uh, the Tories. Uh, they've got to try and build their credibility. They've, uh, they've lost it. He says the 2019 manifesto wasn't just Boris Johnson's. To some extent, that's true. Other, other ways, it's not true because Johnson was such a dominant figure in that election. But if he's going to govern down that manifesto, I, I could probably name uh, a dozen things that have already been broken in it, including Sunak put up national insurance when he said he wouldn't do that, cutting international development when he wouldn't uh, said he wouldn't do that, the Conservatives going after fracking when they said they wouldn't do it. So you could go on and on on how promises have been broken uh, all, already, but you're right, he's going to play for time. That's what he has to do. He has to hope tomorrow is a sunnier day. But I just wonder, uh, I just wonder if what happened with Liz Truss and that uh, special financial operation for the rich crashing the economy, sending interest rates uh, soaring, people already paying more for their mortgages. And I heard, uh, I was listening to Liam looking at the figures saying maybe, maybe we we're over the worst of that, but there's still bad times uh, to, to come. Whether this really for the Conservatives is a 1992 Black Wednesday moment when the national mood changes no matter how hard you work whatever you do after that you just can't regain people's trust because you squandered it and chucked it away in such a reckless terrible way kevin we've seen our first british indian uh, prime minister um the tories are good at giving us diversity of uh, prime ministers the labor party is addicted to white bloc leaders when will they give up their addiction <coughs> probably the next leader uh, which is probably bad news for Wes Streeton, the Shadow Health Secretary, is a very good politician. <clears throat> so I'm just choking. I think it's the pollution here. But it is, you're right, you're right Gloria, it's a stain on Labour, which practices fairness and uh, preaches uh, uh, equality, that 122 years of asking who is the best person to lead that party, they've always answered a white bloke. Uh, when the Conservatives have had uh, three women and now the first uh, Britain of colour, also the first with Jewish heritage, if we go back to uh, Benjamin Disraeli, although he was a practising Anglican when he became uh, Prime Minister. The to <laughs> Tories are, are making uh, Labour look a little embarrassing on that. Kevin, thank you for that. We'll let you go and wet the whistle at the red line. You've earned it, I think. Thanks <laughs> yeah. very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh.